Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am making my version of Chili Verde and as you can see I kind of twisted my camera around a little bit so I'm hoping this gives you guys a little bit better of an angle to see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to get started and I have right here um, in this oversized frying pan I've got <laughs> if you can see this I have one pound of diced up pork um, it was a pork roast pretty lean and um, probably about a fourth of an inch cubes maybe or so so I just put a couple of tablespoons of oil in my frying pan and I put the pork in here and we're just gonna brown it up really good and now all this is going to go into um, a crock pot and you're going to want to cook it for about four to five hours or so. So, and it's a real easy recipe. Um, I think you guys will all like it. So, and I think I put a few different things in mind than other people put in their chili verde. So, Anyways, this is almost browned up here. We just want to get it good and brown and then put it into our crock pot over here. And I've already got my crock pot heated up. I am going to add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. Maybe about a fourth of a teaspoon of each or so. And it cooks up pretty fast. And so now we're just going to take the meat out and leave the juices in the pan. So we're just going to put the meat into our crock pot. Try to keep the juices in there. <laughs> back on the burner. Oh, there's a couple more pieces in there. And we're going to turn the heat back on, probably about medium high heat or so. And then we are going to add our onions. And we're going to cook our onions down probably a couple of minutes. And then also I have three cans of the fire roasted whole green chilies and I just sliced them down the middle and chopped them up into probably about quarter inch uh, size pieces. So we're going to take these and we're going to put them in our crock pot. And I like getting the fire roasted because it, they taste a lot better. Um, I think it's just that roasting taste to it that makes it taste really good. Um, so you need three, I've got three uh, seven ounce cans. And we'll just stir our onions around here a little bit. Get them cooked nice and good. We're going to turn this down to low for just a few minutes and then we are going to put in five tablespoons of flour because as what we're doing here we're trying to make a, a roux or a gravy mix type 
for it. And then I take a whisk and just whisk that all up really good. And then I add four cups of water. And then I just mix that up really good. Now you can make this spicy if you want. Um, the the uh, peppers that I bought, I don't think they were hot. There's some in the cans that you can buy that are like extra hot. But these ones here, I believe, are just mild. So, and then to that gravy mix, we are going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic. One tablespoon of chili powder. One tablespoon of the crushed red pepper. And one tablespoon of oregano. And then we're gonna give this a really good stir here and let it turn it up just a little bit and let it come to a boil. And also we are going to put in probably about a teaspoon or so of salt and about a half a teaspoon or so of black pepper. And then you just get this up to a boil. And the flour in it like kind of thickens it up a little bit. So it kind of makes it into a gravy. And you don't have to put the crushed red pepper in it if you don't like the hotness of it. But um, it does, it does make it, you know, kind of hot with the red pepper in it. You know, if you like it even hotter than that, you could probably even use a couple of tablespoons of the red pepper if you want it. And also, I don't know, I've heard of people putting um, jalapenos in there, fresh jalapenos. I haven't tried that yet, but I bet it's really good, so... And we're just going to add a little bit more salt there. It seems like when, every time I cook this, um, after a couple hours, I'll take the lid off and kind of taste it to see how it is, you know, um, after it cooking for a while. And it seems like every time I just need to add a, just a little bit more salt to it. So... Okay, that is up to a boil. We're going to shut it off here. And I am going to pour it into our crock pot with our green chilies and our pork. Stir it around a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is so good, you guys. You guys are really, really going to like it. If you like Chili Verde, you are going to love this. And I've been making this for years. So whoever tries this, please leave me a message and let me know how it turned out for you and how you guys liked it. But like I said, you don't have to put the crushed red pepper in it if you don't like it that hot. 
And also a lot of people put cumin in theirs, but I use chili powder. So I think the chili powder gives it a little bit different of a taste than the cumin. So, okay, and, and that's all there is to it. And you put your crock pot on high for about four to five hours or so. And then it's done. And um, usually me and my husband will take tortillas and eat it with tortillas. It's kind of like a soup a little bit, but um, tortillas go really good with this. So anyways, this is the end of my video. And um, when it's done, um, I'll take some pictures of it and post it for you guys because um, four or five hours, that's just a long time to wait to come back to my video. So anyways, um, this is it. And I hope you guys enjoyed um, this video today. And go ahead and subscribe to me if you haven't. And uh, hit that thumbs up button for me. And ring that bell so you guys can get my notifications. Um, a lot of people I've been talking to, they've been saying they haven't been getting notifications and I don't know why. Um, maybe it's something on my part. I'll have to go in and check on that. But let me know if you guys are getting my notifications or not. And um, you guys all have a good day.